Hello there, carpologists. I'm Joe, and today you join me on the banks of Spring Lake on the Viaduct Fishery Complex. Now today is something a little bit different. Over the last few months I've been bringing you various bits and bobs from the Crafty Catcher range and today they've challenged me to try and catch four fish on four different methods. So to start with I've got their pellet bag mix, so that's going to be a solid PVA bag setup. I've also got their method mix, so I've got to put out a method feeder and try and catch something on that mix. Then I've also got the sloppy spod mix to try and catch on the zigs. And lastly, we've got their floater kit, try and catch them off the surface. So to start with, I'm going to put out two bottom bait rods. As the weather starts to warm up, I'm going to try and get them up in the layers on the zigs and then the surface fishes. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I'm very confident we'll catch something. Right, so I'm ready to get the first rod out and uh, I'm going to go with the solid bag on the first rod. The second rod is going to go on the method mix, but to start with I have this here, which is the pellet mix. Now, I'm no solid bag specialist, but I am pretty damn happy with that. Very solid mix. So it's got a variety of different sizes in it. You've got some bigger pellets, smaller pellets, some micro pellets, some sort of powdery crumb, all really oily and smelly. And then you've got what looks like dried maggots. It's got krill extract in here as well, so really fishy smell. And uh, all those different sizes are going to break down at different rates, release loads of attraction in the swim. And we've got a little wafter just in the bottom corner there. So this is going to fling out towards the island and hopefully that will get me with my first bite before I have a chance to get the method on. Well, as you really just saw, I've just had my uh, first bite on the solid bag rig, just in the net at the moment, but I'll quickly show you what I'm putting out on this one. Now, this is the method mix. Couldn't find a method feeder, that's our uh, little eye method feeder fish, but I found a cage feeder, it's gonna do the same sort of job, and a little rig. And this method mix, I've got it up fairly soft, but fairly sloppy as well, so it packs in there nicely, but it should break down nice and easy as well. I think there's a few bream in here, so I wouldn't be surprised if this attracts some of those. But you can make this mix exactly how you want. You can have it really fine and sort of crumbly, or you can make it a bit more stodgy, so it's gonna cast out a lot further. And obviously the consistency you make it depends on how quickly it's gonna break down as well. So this shouldn't take too long to break down. I'm gonna get this one out, hopefully get the second fish of the day, get the first fish out, and then uh, switch over to a third method. And there we go, the first run of the day. This is on the solid bag. As I was sorting this one out, the uh, method feeder rod or cage feeder rod has gone off as well. But as expected, I've attracted some bream. Bit of a slab, but it's not what we're after. So uh, it's back out again. Well, unfortunately, the uh, feeder rod is doing exactly as I thought it would. There's quite a lot of bream in here and I've now had three bream in about 10 or 15 minutes. So uh, carp front may not work on the feed rod. So I'm gonna put out another solid bag rod and try and get another carp on the solid bag. Then I'm gonna switch over to zigs and then hopefully on the surface. Leaving the feed around for a bit longer because I do wanna try and catch a carp on there. If that keeps going off as it does, I'm just gonna get breamed out all day. Oh, there we go. <laughs> as I was just saying about the bream, another one on cue. I think uh, I am going to have to call it quits on the feeder for today because uh, this is carpology, not breamology. Well, it's now 12 o'clock and it's absolutely baking hot. It's pretty much the hottest part of the day so far. I'd say low 20s, it's so perfect time to try and get some fish in the upper layers before I get onto the surface. I've got the two zigs out now. I uh, took the deeper out, found it out there. It's probably around three and a half foot deep. It's about 3.7 just round by the island, so it's slightly deeper there. So I've got them about two and a half to three foot now this is really not very deep at all, but they're positioned, nothing yet, but it's time to actually try and introduce some bait, to try and bring the fish in. So they're out there at the moment, maybe intercepting the odd passing fish, but putting some of this spod mix out will hopefully bring them in, get them competing and feeding about in the upper layers and get us a few bites. Now this mix is really easy to use, just like the first time I used it, you just add lake water, you put in some of the oily mix that comes with it as well, so all the milky ingredients and things, just clouds up the water, lots of different sized particles, so it floats them down in the water column and just gets them grubbing around and feeding. So let's get some of this out and hopefully encourage a bite. Well, 
Well, I've just brought one of the zigs in. The uh, fish have really come up in the surface layers and they're now on top. So perfect opportunity to get some uh, of the floaters out and hopefully get some off the top. I've left one of the zigs out, which is actually one of the zigs that peeled off probably about 20 minutes ago, but nothing on the end. So hopefully with the fish milling around still on the surface layers, I'll be able to get some off the top, but the ones that just dropped down after taking a few biscuits, will pick up the zig. Well, there we go. Two or four ticked off the list. This one came off the top, the wriggly little thing. Biggest one of the day and uh, quite a nice scaly one. It took a while to get them feeding properly off the top, but I added some of the uh, manga cloud liquid to give some more attraction and slick it off a bit more. Took the rod out of the water for 10 minutes so and got them feeding comfortably and this one slipped up. So just the zig to go. Well, I've only got a couple of hours left of the session and I've only ticked off two out of the four in the challenge so far. I've one on a solid bag and I've also had one off the top. Now I've got both back out on zigs. I did have a take on a zig earlier, but struck into absolutely nothing. So uh, they are both back out on zigs. The left one is an over depth by a few inches in three foot of water. And the right one is about two and a half foot zigs, which is just under the surface. We got one on a zig. Yes. Got our one on the zig. Well, there we go, Perseverance paid off with the zigs. I had one on the overdeck, and that's the one that went off. Just made a small change. I took one of the uh, little zig bites off. I did have the bright yellow one on, but they were shying away from it because they were feeding on the floaters. So uh, I changed to match the hatch and put out a artificial floater, or one of the ones that come in the floater kit, sorry. And uh, before I'd even had time to really turn around, the rod was off. You've seen it now, he's getting lively. Now I'm gonna think I'm gonna stick out the method feeder rod and try and get our fourth fish for the challenge. There's number two for the surface fishing. I'm gonna quickly get the feeder out because there's a slow pack down now and it's my last chance to save the challenge. Well, unfortunately, the session has come to an end and it was kind of a 75% win, but partly a failure. I didn't get any carp on the method mix, but with today's conditions, it wasn't really the best method. If I had come here and just gone surface fishing, I'm sure I would have been into double figures just like I was last time. It's been very, very hot and they are still feeding on the top, but I did manage to catch three fish or three different fish on each of these methods. So one on a zig, on the overdepth zig with some of the sloppy spot around. One on the pellet mix, first thing, I thought I was off to an absolute flying start. And one on the floater kit. So I did manage on these three, but maybe on another day, this would have been the good one. And if there wasn't so many bream in it. So for more information on all of these items, please visit the Crafty Catcher website. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Oh, oh.